I am Anil Kumar. Here is an application of derivatives. This question is from my subscriber. Let me thank all the subscribers for posting questions and taking interest in my YouTube channel. The question here is, a ball is thrown straight down from the top of a 426 foot building with an initial velocity of minus 16 feet per second. Use the position function s of t equals to minus 16 t square plus v0 t plus s0 for free falling objects. What is the velocity after falling 100 feet? So that's the question for you. So what we are given here is an equation for free fall. Height is being represented by s of t. It is minus 16 t square plus v0 t plus s0. Now s0 is the initial height from where the ball is thrown. That is 426 feet. v0 is the initial velocity, which is minus 16, minus because it is acting downwards feet per second, right? So we know these two values. If I substitute these values, I get minus 16 t square plus initial velocity of minus 16 t plus height 426, right? So that becomes the expression, which could be written as minus 16 t square minus 16 t plus 426. What is the velocity after falling 100 feet? That's what we need. That means velocity is rate of change. So we know velocity is rate of change of displacement or height in this particular case. Now we need to find what is this velocity when it has fallen 100 feet. That means when you have to find what is s, what is t when s of t is 100 okay so that is what the question is correct so i hope the question is absolutely clear now we are going to use power rule to solve this particular question now first part is we need to find time when the height is 100 so let me substitute 100 for displacement or height in this case and find what time is so the equation is minus 16 t square minus 16 t plus 426. I mean 426. Let's bring all the terms together. We'll take them to left side. So we have 16 t square plus 16 t plus 100 minus 426 equals to 0 or 16 t square plus 16t and that gives me minus 326 equals to 0 right so now you have to find time when the height is 100 so this is one part of this question how do you find time one way is you could factor the other way is you could use quadratic equation right since the numbers are bigger let's use quadratic equation so we can say time t is equals to my or minus of this which is minus 16 plus minus square of 16 minus 4 AC so 4 times 16 times 326 since it is negative we'll make this as positive square root divided by 2 times 16 which is 32 okay now the answer cannot be negative we know here time t is greater than or equal to 0 so we'll take the positive answer for this, correct? So let's figure this out. We have square root 16 square plus 4 times 16 times 326. Right. So which is equal to 8. So we'll take this positive value and take away 16 from here times minus 16. It gives us some answer. We'll divide this by 32. Divide by 32. 
and we'll convert that to decimal numbers we get 4.04 .04. so we get this value as 4.04 .04. is it okay so 4.04 .04 is the time when the height will be 100 feet is that clear to you so that's the first part so first part here is to find time for s of t equals to 100 feet is it okay so we found that time t for this is equals to 4.04 .04. you could use 4 now for your calculations is it okay now to find the velocity we'll find the derivative of s so velocity at any time is derivative of this height function so which is we are using power rule so 2 times minus 16 is minus 32 and this gives me minus 16 right so that is the derivative so basically we have to find velocity when t is 4.04 .04. that is going to be minus 32 times 4.04 .04 minus 16 okay so that gives you the answer you would actually approximate using just the number 4 right so so it is negative since it is coming downwards right so we'll do uh, negative of 32 times 4.04 .04 minus 16 equals to uh, in decimals 145.28 feet per second right so that becomes your answer you could do with 4 also sometimes we just use round values so times 4 and then we'll add 16 and put uh, positive value which is 144 right so if you use just 4 you'll get 144 right so uh, that but truly 145 you could say approximately 145 feet per second is the velocity when the height of the object is 100 feet is it clear that is how we are going to solve this question Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.